Hey, look at this goddamn brimstone I got here. I'm playing Andromeda again. That's right. I've actually never tried a character I've tried before again, just for fun. But this one stuck with me a lot and I wanted to see them again. Mainly because the most impressive thing I thought about the Andromeda mod was the sprite work. I mean, look at this custom made sprite. Do I not look absolutely bodacious and totally tubular at the same time? So I wanted to start with brimstone just because I think that's a really cool looking sprite. And I'm gonna focus on trying- ow! I'm gonna focus on trying to find items that I think would look cool with the sprite. Because last time I played, I ended up getting a really cool looking character. And I wanted to see more of it. Genuinely, like that's actually it. <laughs> If you don't know how Andromeda works, that's okay. All you need to know is that Little Monstro sucks. And I can press Q, my gravity shift, to turn Little Monstro into nothing. He's dead. Goodbye. Uh, we are rewarded with a, a Yera, though. That's cool. Where is this going to TP me? It did nothing. Okay, cool. <laughs> So the way Andromeda works is that Gravity Shift, our pocket active item, does a multitude of different things. It can pause projectiles right in its tracks like that. And it can also do crazy things when it comes to special rooms. Just like how you saw, it can turn treasure rooms into these weird broken planetariums. You can make it so shops only have one ginormous mega item that's worth 30 cents. You can turn devil deals and angel deals into wisps. You can do all these crazy things. And we're gonna have fun because this was a really clean character that we played. And I kind of missed them you know we're gonna have a good time trying to find all of these cool looking sprites i think so i don't think i'm gonna be able to really do anything here but i'm tempted to just show you guys the gravity shift in motion let me see if i get anything nothing okay i'm gonna gravity shift this hopefully it's not good but this is just for example oh wow i really don't want any of this stuff boom oh no to be fair i do have brimstone so it really would not be that sick but i uh, kind of unfortunate to see oh well let's go take care of monstro with andromeda and check our real damage it's pretty good even with 3.60 base do they start with 3.60 base usually that's kind of a weird number no i usually base is 3.50 <laughs> they really increased it by 0.1 i suppose of course the brimstone is helping out an immense amount making quick work of monstro and lending us a pageant boy which there's no way i get like seven dimes and i'm able to afford ghost pepper but that would have been legendary i have no use for the curse room because i'm so low so let's just go down now they don't specifically specifically start with items, but you can see they have some kind of effect with them that can be boiled down to uh, just tiny planet and anti-gravity together, as well as two smelted trinkets. We got telescope lens and the friend necklace that I just straight up can't remember the name of. It's the thing that makes you orbit around, you know, like spin like crazy. So if you find familiars, we can also take advantage of that. I need more keys because we got a planetarium straight away. You're basically guaranteed to find a planetarium with this character, especially when you gravity shift the treasure room, you get an increased chance. I believe Gravity Shift also has a special interaction for actually planetarium. So once we do land a key, we're going to be able to use it. <laughs> I'm going to need to get a key real soon though. And I'm very tempted at this point to just Yera it so I can get two of them because it's not looking good, guys. It is only one singular key. I can't take that risk. I really need the double play. Usually wouldn't do this, but I feel like this is correct. Let's just grab our two keys and then see what our two items can be. And then we'll hopefully get a ton of cool sprite work. Hello. Do I want Pluto? I don't. I really do. I really do. Like, it's actually incredible, and I feel incorrect by doing this. But the whole point of what I want is to look at cool sprites. In fact, my horns are gone because of Pageant Boy, so that kind of sucks. But maybe we'll find something cooler. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this because you get four items by doing this. And I'm gonna take the Lusty Blood. Very effective. I'm a little curious as to why I'm so small all of a sudden. <laughs> I, actually, my horns are back, so everything is cool. But yeah, I really did get small as if I picked up Pluto. Oh, I suppose using gravity shift in a planetarium gives you the wisp temporarily. So that is just straight up the proper thing to do. Unless you wanted that item to be permanent. Okay. Do I want a habit? Not particularly, but it's so cheap, I may as well. And then I want to check out the treasure room again. And hopefully, if that item is not too good, uh, the gravity shift will save me instead of boning me over. I think it's a 50-50 shot for the treasure room planetarium gravity shift moment to uh, pay out between an item and pickups. I don't need piercing as much as it's a really good item. So boop, please an item. This is so sad, <laughs> but I can live. This is really good. Blessed penny. This gives me sustain, the sustain that I need to feel a little bit safer moving forward. Flat penny is really interesting because I, I really need keys, but no, not worth. I need the sustain, I think. Goodbye, little horn. Mr. Belly's cool. Some hearts, please. Okay. 
Do I go devils? I am thinking probably no. Most most likely not. I want to go to the curse room though. And after that, we'll have to go down. We actually cannot go to downpour. For the first time on Lazy Mat Man channel, we will not go downpour or dross. We are forced to go caves one. It is a sad time to be alive. <laughs> It's okay, just hold strong, ladies and gentlemen. We'll get through this. This is gonna be uh, the most Mongo balls pill you've ever seen. Oh my goodness. I did not know horse pill Horv does like a kind of weird monstro's lung ipecac. That's good to know. Never use a horse pill next to a wall ever again. So, <laughs> where are the keys? <laughs> The whole point of this was because I wanted to appreciate Andromeda and the amount of work that's gone into all the sprite work. But if I can't get items, how is that gonna work? <laughs> no way. I don't even know. I just keep getting pills and stuff. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, all right. That's humongous. Mega proportions. I'm about to die. I lost my Pluto. I'm now larger, but we got a key. Okay, do I risk the shop or do I go planetarium treasure? This is a big gamble. A lot riding on this. I think I want to go uh, planetarium treasure. Let me check this first. I'm about to die. Zodiac. That's very appropriate. And I'm, I kind of want to take that, to be honest. <laughs> I've been waiting forever to figure this one out. What does it look like? Very epic. I don't even know what Zodiac does for the sprite. I'm just gonna, whatever. Please go. At least I got a soul heart. Okay. I like the song that plays. It's like a slowed down version of the original planetarium theme. My gambles have not been paying off. Let's go to the planetarium and hopefully it does. Maybe we can bring this back. It's not over just yet. Shabam. Venus. This is definitely a gravity shift moment into Mulligan. Now that's nice. I don't know why when you use gravity shift in a planetarium, the, the ground becomes icy. I'm not doing this. Like I swear to God, the, it's like I turned into Mario ice physics or something. I don't know how that happened. Mulligan is massive, and I'm so happy to find it because it makes me feel like I actually got an item on this floor. <laughs> Gertie Jr.? More like Nerdy Jr. Okay, that one was kind of good, guys. Hello to the angel. Now, we can do crazy things with the angel, turn these items into wisps, but wisps are temporary, and this seems permanent. Star of Bethlehem or Holy Grail. I bet wings look cool. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Like, here's the thing. I gotta guess what will look cool. <laughs> I'll probably just show you guys other cool sprites that I end up finding midway through the video. But for now, I flight's very important. Oh, yes! I got the blue wings. This is exactly what I envisioned. Very, very nice. I can go get some pickups now that I've left behind because of the flight. Maybe I get super secret room. Maybe I somehow get a key. And maybe that key leads to a shop with polyphemus in there, even though that's physically not possible. We are bringing this back from the clutches of evil. Not even a league of super super evil could handle me. And by the way, that show is incredible and I feel like no one remembers that's a thing. <laughs> that one, that one's burned in my memory. I actually think that if you show your child that show as they grow up, pure mental damage might not be recoverable and you might do something to them. <laughs> I'm not saying I can account for my own sake, but all I'm saying is sometimes I go, League of Super Evil. <laughs> And uh, my brain goes kaput. I absolutely love this show. <laughs> we did not get anything. We got the super secret. I guessed it. I got a range up. But there's really nothing I can do about that chop. This is a cope situation. That's okay. Next floor, we're gonna have 30 cents. So we can actually do the gravity shift thing right there. Do I want to go mines? At this point, we're just a regular fellow, dude. Forget the alternates. In fact, it's flooded caves. I love this place. We're a blue dude anyway. I think it's so cool that the brimstone turns blue also. Like, what? Usually most modded characters don't have this amount of sprite work put into them. It's really impressive. There is another key. Things are ramping up. 30 cents now. Excited for the shop. Check this. Check this. Some more soul hearts. Pop this open. Check the pills. I'm excited. Hey, golden keys. Don't have to worry about it this floor. I'm gonna keep gambling my life away unless it's a god item. I truly just need whatever this planetarium is gonna give me. Please be decent. <laughs> Oi, hey, it's, it's, it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. Aquarius. Oh my god, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. I'm bopping my head like that, that Jim Carrey car scene that I don't know what movie it's from, but like it's a really old gif that people used to use. There it is. There's the good stuff. Flooded Caves theme added again. Blue is my home officially. Hey, what's your guys' favorite color? It's not blue for me. I'm quirky and different because I'm going to say that it's orange. I, I genuinely like orange. 
I feel like it's a bit of an unpopular pick, but I feel like if you know, you know. Orange is kind of goaded, dude. A combination of red and yellow, really sick colors. Yes, please. Give me the starter deck. This is incredible. Blue map is great also, and a world card we can use on a further floor. So we're gonna be able to find everything and maybe even save some bombs for some future mushrooms. I didn't really wanna do the gravity shift for that shop because those are such good items. I think you can do it on the secret room though, but why would I do that? <laughs> it's, oh, luck up. I think when you do it in the secret room, it turns all the pickups in the secret room into wisps. Uh, I guess I can test it. Boom, and then boom. That is correct. Maybe shouldn't have murdered that guy because now I do not have access to that super secret room. But murder was my intent and I had to get it done. It just is what it is. Goodbye Forsaken, you're nothing to me. This brimstone is way too good. It's a little hard to aim though because of that anti-grab tiny planet, but it's still really strong. Huh? Nice, marrow. No keys, no latch key, no nothing. Andromeda cannot get red hearts or I imagine bone hearts either because marrow did not give me anything. So let's go and use the world card. All right, press and Q and going up first because this is the way to go. I will definitely spam this sack room. I think we can get something good here. I'm also very comfortable with my health because of this Blessed Penny play that we got early on. We lost a wisp, but eh, who cares? We got nothing? Really? <laughs> Can I get like angel chance at least? And then maybe some money so I can gravity shift? Maybe that'll be good. Take this money, soul hearts. Well, that was completely useless. <laughs> but hey, hold on. Maybe we get the angel room from the high you feel blessed chance. And sacred heart just decides to show up. Maybe our future is really bright and I just don't see it yet. I don't have the vision, but it's coming to me. Just give me a second. Curse room, check, check. Uh, just more baloney. Yes. Another golden key from a justice. Okay, cool. Very appreciated, dog. Nice. I'm sorry. Is that another planetary? <laughs> oh, this character is awesome. Did I? I think I, the last time I played this character, I only had one, which was like the basically guaranteed one. And now I'm getting multiple. This is genuinely epic. Hello, Mercurius. Uh, yeah, no. And then I get conjoined and nothing really else. Conjoined will go around me. The rest of these oh. items, I don't really see them doing anything. These are two actives. I don't think Montezuma would have a unique sprite. I'll check it later, maybe. Farting Baby is conjoined and it will spin around me. So it has a unique interaction with specifically Andromeda. So let's go with that. Saw a comment on my Steam profile recently. <laughs> I mean, I, I get comments on my Steam profile every now and then. People will try and add me or they'll just say something nice or trolly. You know, who cares? Whatever. But I saw something that really made me laugh. <laughs> and there's some random dude. I, he was like, hey, because, you know, I've been playing a lot of Tekken recently. And I used to play Dragon Ball at like, like a professional level. Treasure room moment. Don't need this. Just going to quickly do this and get nothing. We know this song and dance. We accept it. We move forward. The dude literally asked, I would love to see some Dragon Ball Fighters and Tekken 9 gameplay. <laughs> Ah! I may be a god gamer, but I don't know if I'm that kind of level. I do not have access to that game. I'll do some research, and if I can find Tekken 9, you know, I'll play it, definitely. <laughs> uh, so I was unable to find uh, Tekken 9, but here's Tekken Tag Tournament 3. Uh, this is gaming. Hello. Looks like I have a red charge. Okay, very nice. Here's some, here's some characters. <laughs> oh, dude, is that Jack? <gasps> Yo, what's up, Jack? Let's go, dude. Uh, you know what? I think Tag 3 is looking pretty good. Yeah, I'm excited for this game's release. Back to the shop. 30 cents. We got a 30 cent item. It's just... Oh my god. Entirely disgusting on all accounts. No thanks. I do not need you clogging my game. I don't even want you on my inventory screen. That is how much you've disrespected me on this day. We got a bone heart. That bone heart did not get added to our regular heart, so we can confirm that that does not work. Venus still working because it's still a wisp. Surprisingly, we can actually still get planetariums on the next floor and the womb as well. Of course the next floor, but usually you can't get planetariums on womb onwards unless you have the telescope lens, which luckily for us Andromeda just naturally has. And we're starting to really come up with a cool looking sprite. I'm some kind of god angel thing with the Mercurius and the, the wings and the everything. This isn't going to get stuck in my head, is it? I mean like more or less, but you can't really notice it. It's fine. Was there anything else to do? I don't believe so. Let's go. Soul of Apollyon. Dude, why is it so loud? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm telling you guys, I've mentioned it before, I don't care, I'm gonna mention it again. Every other thing sounds normal. The narrator, on point. When you wanna say balls of steel, he says it eloquently, distinctly, and I love how he delivers it. Uh, but something, something happened when they recorded Soul of Apollyon, man. <laughs> 
Like, so I don't know what happened to the mic fidelity, but someone switched out the microphone from a professional to like a webcam. It goes from answers to soul of Apollyon. Vault, hello. I don't really need to increase my deal chance whatsoever, but I also don't really want to spend my money whatsoever. Just because I got the money available for the 30 cent play, maybe I'll just play you out. Regular beggar can do something, he'll pay out fast, it's just HP. Uh, you can't gravity shift this, can you? Definitely not. Paying out the beggar also very, very slightly weighs things more in terms of angels instead of devils. So I'm really banking on this angel to show up, but you know, can't control anything. Maybe Satan just wants to say hi to me. I'm thinking we hit up the treasure room, and I'm thinking we gravity shift the cursed eye into absolutely nothing. But whoa! This is not just nothing. This is really good. These are good pickups, man. I think let's take the soul of Eden. I don't really know what these buttons do. I pressed one earlier in the run, but it, I couldn't get it to work. Am I supposed to do it in order or or what? One. Okay, that's a TP. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I just got trolled by the invisible TP. <laughs> okay, well, uh, let's go. We'll take the Soul of Eden. What? Uh, hello? <laughs> why Why are there so many of these? Okay, I'm gonna leave these alone. Maybe I'll get a reroll or something. Probably not. Double secret room item is always rare to find. Very nice. Just not very expected. Let's check the super secret room. We can always have that rune room that's super rare. It has a Soul of Isaac basically always. And we can lock that in and maybe roll the mystery sack? Oh, well, this works too. Hello? Ah, oh, it's not perfect. Oh, that sucks. But the shop will clutch it out. Yeah, this is a stinky ass shop. Just not what we're looking for whatsoever. Gravity shift it into PhD. What a fat play. That one's big. Unfortunately, I don't have any. <laughs> Araga pills. No more drugs allowed. So uh, that's that's not really going to work out for us. But uh, I'll take the mystery sack. And every single time a card shows up, just know that it could have been a balls pill. Isaac, you're about to blow yourself up. Don't do that. Does that happen more often than not on the mom? fight i feel like it does i feel like for some reason always has like a bomb rock specifically in the center where she always stomps at the beginning of every single fight like without fail i, I don't know why maybe just me but can you guys account because i'm i swear to god she keeps blowing herself up recently that is sacred heart but still a heart still really good i can maybe fight megastan megastan can lead to delirium delirium leads to more items maybe but so far as it stands it's mainly the brimstone that's carrying her ass and rightfully so because i think it has one of the coolest looking costumes ever in isaac history and i actually mean that you cannot give me blue horns demon and tell me that is not significantly cool oh big plays Nothing. Oh, big place. It was meant to be, dude. Blind item. Hey, look up. I just got Incubus, man. That's sick. Oh, well, hello? This has got to be Andromeda based. I don't, I don't know the super secret room at all. Uh, sure. I mean, why not? I'm curious to see if gravity shifting this room will do anything. Anything? No. And then gravity shift. I mean, it made, made it the dash pit. <laughs> Try ac nid gaming I never really saw that he was salivating in the, the icon before. I don't know why I took note of that today, but he, he was. <laughs> Wait a second. Does Triacnid and Daddy Longlegs actually have like a distinct difference? Is Triacnid leaving creep whenever he stomps? Wait, Daddy Longlegs does that too, no? There's no way. He definitely does not. Wait, there's a difference? <laughs> Guys, my mind just got blown. A decade worth of knowledge, but I actually did not know that those two were different. <laughs> I, uh, forgive me, I thought it was just like a, you know, game self-insert from the Triacnid game. I thought it was just the same thing. I never saw that they actually do something different. Or I'm gaslighting myself, Daddy Longlegs might just do it. But I have a feeling I'm, I'm correct here. I'm correct in knowing that I am actually incorrect for the past 10 years. In the same way that like six months ago, I found out the, the wafer was supposed to be like a piece of bread that you eat during communion. You learn something new about Isaac every single day. I'll say it to the day I die. I truly believe. It's like life, but as a video game. My life is like a video game. In life, you learn something new every single day. Knowing that there's a difference between Triacnid and Daddy Longlegs means that in the future, I'll be prepared for that scenario. And I will apply it to the future. Oh yeah, definitely. Give me that HP up. Is it It Lives Time? I think so. Let's go right behind this eye and send the Brimstone. That'll actually take care of everyone, as well as that Brimstone. And now we're just gonna spam bombs and our Brimstones. Remember that we are actually shooting two at a time, except for not because our little clot is dead. But either way, our damage is really good. Goodbye. Give me my basically guaranteed deal into... Hey! 
This is looking like uh, maybe a gravity shift moment. I think so. I mean, I don't really got a use for this, given those wisps. I think these wisps work similar to Sacred Heart. So they're going to be mega powerful. And we can take the Soul of Eden to the chest. There's Isaac, being as Isaac as ever. Hello, dude. Uh, Yeah, let's start off with a bomb because I want to just hit myself. <laughs> Aw, oh, man, my wisps are gonna get destroyed. There's like nothing I can do in that scenario, I feel. That's like checkmate. That's alright, my main damage is just the brimstone, let's be real, let's just spam that. Couple more cycles, I think two more from here. One more, where are you gonna show up? There you go, and probably then? Nice. Crying Pebble! I, uh, didn't I unlock that? I think I remember unlocking that last time. And I made a comment about how it's kind of like a weird rock bottom. I never got around to it. I should really check that out. Okay, here's the big stuff. My dude looks awesome with the most detailed sprites I've ever seen for a modded character. That's not an exaggeration. I got Isaac's Heart, Midas, Anarchist, and oh my lord, what terrible items. Would Midas do something cool? I don't know. I'm gonna test it. Are you gonna look cool? No, you're just disappointed. <laughs> That was clearly the wrong choice, sorry. Ghost bombs, little delirium. Alright, these are fine. Oh, 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 I don't know what came over me. Like, I got almond milk though, that's pretty cool. What's going on over here? This, this is the good stuff. This is so perfect. We now have almond milk, god synergy, and it's just like a beam that stays in the center of the room and just kills everything. And it looks really cool too, it's because of the weird uh, little clot that's making it like the original color, but the blue is overtaking it. Another chest. Hey, you know what? I'll take it. It's Seraphim. A bit more HP. Ah, there's Blue Baby. Do we even need to fight that man? I suppose not. What are we gonna get out of it? We got a Mega Stand fight anyway. Actually, nah, I'm gonna beat him up. That guy's blue and I do not accept that. I'm the only true blue one around here. Oh, I got the Incubus proc. That looked so cool for just a second. I actually loved that. That was so sick. I wish I could get joined, man. I have never heard this part of the Blue Baby song, I'm not gonna lie, and I never will! It's done for, goodbye! Couple more rooms to do, and then we'll lock in the Mega Stand fight. Oh! There it is! The triple beam goodness! Oh, it's gone, but it was so sick for the time being. Three different brimstone beams being three completely different colors. It just works wonders for my brain. I don't know why. Is that it? Is that everything? That seems to be it. I have a feeling... Uh, I don't think tear detonator is going to do anything, but I guess I'll take it. It could be more fun. That this should be a pretty easy fight, but not... Uh, completely simple? I mean, I don't exactly have the most HP. Five hits and not the most damage on Earth. I need to get some kills here to proc Lusty Blood. That's when the damage will go crazy. But once we can proc Bloody Lust just even a couple times, then we start melting them down like crazy. Let's apply that strategy to Mega Stan. I just need him to spawn some dudes. <laughs> I was kind of hoping he'd spawn like regular Pestilence so that he would spawn flies and I could farm off of him, but whatever. I guess I'll just deal with it. The boss kill will be enough. Oh, there you go. Death Cycle Count. Farm the damage off of Death Scythe. There you go. Try not to get hit. And now you can immediately see the difference. You saw how before we were doing like weird tick damage and it was kind of unsatisfying. But once we got enough damage, now it's like fully ticking. Full on red with no stops, no pauses whatsoever. That's what I want to look for. There you are. Very good. I love the fact that the anti-grav is doing work while I just get to dodge. I just have to hold down a button and everything kind of works out. Okay. <laughs> I, I dodged incorrectly, but Gravity Shift saved me a hit there. That was sick. What happens if you do it to the fire? Uh, not good things at all. So let's not do that ever again. <laughs> That's it. Delirium today? Maybe? No? Yes. Del yes. What? Okay, yes. Let's go. I didn't think it was going to happen, to be honest with you. But let's try it. If I'm being real, I absolutely see no way that I'm able to do this. <laughs> Three hearts with this kind of damage against Delirium. It's kind of just straight up a death sentence. But I don't know, maybe I'll pull something out of my ass and I can clutch it. Hello? Full card, moon card, no, no, no. No, thank you. Oh man, not to mention, I don't really have the speed necessary. I'm going to get Telefrag just by existing against this guy. Oh, world card. Okay, that helps. We can snuff out people that we know cannot be Delirium. Case in point, these guys down here. Let's take care of them. What's up with you? Oh, it's just the frail. You know, I've never really heard the guitar riff that's past this. And uh, it sounds sick. Is This is uh, my innermost apocalypse, right? I think so. That's, uh, I would never forget that song, honestly. I used to listen to that song on repeat. I know that sounds kind of edgy or whatever, but I don't know. I was a kid. I thought that song sounded like the coolest thing ever. My innermost apocalypse. Like, dude, I, I'm sorry, but that's actually sick. This wouldn't be him. Oh, oh no! <laughs> 
Guys, I made a major mistake of utmost proportions, but we got Incubus. Little Delirium is on my side, while Big Delirium is against me. What could this possibly mean for the future of the Binding of Isaac? Let's just try and win, I guess. Gotta remember to use the gravity shift offensively if I'm afraid of Delirium. And I gotta keep moving, because at any point, Telefrags are all around. And, you know, the beginning of the Delirium fight is never too bad. It's when it gets low HP, it gets more crazy, so we're gonna chill for now. My main issue, I think, is that I, I just lack so much damage. Oh, yeah, it's, it might be Drover, lads. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, man. I guess use the tier detonator and hope. <laughs> I'm about to get delirium momented. Watch as I get hit out of absolutely nowhere. Check this out. No! Why are you me? Thought it was gonna happen. I predicted it. I had a lot of fun playing Andromeda again. I hope you guys had a good time checking out all the sprites, because I'm sure I would have just came in afterwards, you know? And I appreciate you guys, and uh, sub for more if you like it. And uh, GG's!